All right, so we're going to talk about She-Hulk again. We're not going to talk about the trailer, though. There's a new rumor out there that she was supposed to be more muscular, and this is leading to articles like this one, which I'll go over in a minute. Marvel protects the feelings of fragile fanboys and tones down She-Hulk character. So apparently... People are putting stuff out like this. Let's go where this starts. So, rumor. Marvel Studios allegedly requested for She-Hulk to be less muscular during the series FX development. Apparently, she was bigger early on, but the notes kept saying to make her smaller. Full details. Surprisingly, a FX artist confirms She-Hulk's proportions are off due to executive meddling. So... Here's uh, from this person right here. I was at a company that did FX for this. Apparently, she was bigger early on, but the notes kept saying to make her smaller. We always roll our eyes like we did on Sonic, but at the end of the day, artists going to follow orders. And then as this person points out here, she's still pretty jacked. I mean, you can see her right here. She's still pretty muscular. But then look at this guy. Not nearly as much as she should be. I find this funny. Uh, going to... Still going to peep, but I wish she was a little more thick. Like, I would still been fine with this, actually, if that had happened. Uh, I don't think... See, some people are into muscular women. It's too intimidating. They need to. They need the nerds to have the hots for She-Hulk. I think people would still probably have the hots for her in this picture. But here's the thing. So this guy's cherry-picking this one picture of a muscular She-Hulk. But, I mean, that's really up to the artist on how they want to draw her. Like, look at this one right here. So, this is, I I think this is her first solo comic, The Savage She-Hulk. I don't remember which one is her first issue. I, I don't remember. She has two series. The first series wasn't that successful, and then they rebooted it, I think. And then the rebooted one did pretty good. But, I mean, look at her right here on this cover, on the top right corner. Okay, does she look like this? No. She's had several different looks throughout the time. This one is kind of more in line with, like, actually, she's a little thinner here than she is in the series, I think. She's a little more jacked than that. At the end of the day, this, the bad CGI is my main problem with the trailer. If they can fix this CGI, uh, this maybe, I don't want to say it could be a good show because all of Disney's Marvel shows have been awful so far, but... I do like this character. Uh, I'm fine with how she looks. The CGI is just awful. It's bad. Uh, but if they'd made her a little bit mu more muscular, I wouldn't have cared. She's had different looks throughout the comics. Like, the only one I didn't want them to use is this one. This is the one that's awful. This is Bruce Banner She-Hulk. The reason that they did this is because Jason Aaron didn't want to... He couldn't use Bruce Banner Hulk, so he literally made... She-Hulk, a ripoff of the regular Hulk, which is hilarious if you think about it, because she's her own character. Uh, there was a really stupid comic. Uh, her own, it was a rebooted version of her book where they had her, like, broken, and she was doing this form for a while, but then eventually she got her form back, and at the end of the series, she was normal again and looking like her regular self. This is what I like. was fearing they would use in the show, and they didn't. This is not She-Hulk. This is literally a carbon copy version of the regular Hulk. And She-Hulk is anything but the regular Hulk. She's her own character. Like, look at this version. This would have been fine. And no one would have had a problem with this. Muscular-looking woman. I think what I'm showing you is different examples of what a She-Hulk, like what she looks like depending on the artist. Like, here's this one. Here's this one. This looks real good there. Here's this one. Like, this is a really jacked version. No one would have cared about this. I actually think this would have been pretty spot on to have her looking looking ripped. But at the end of the day, the way the character looks in the show, I think she's still, like, take it, like let's set aside the criticism of the bad CGI. Okay? She looks feminine. She looks like a woman. You know, she she looks good. I, I think this is I think the design is fine. If they would have made her arms a little bit more muscular, I think that would have been fine too. 
I was just worried they were going to go all out with that rip-off Hulk that they were doing in the comics. And they didn't do that. Thank God they didn't do that. They'd have been destroying their show before they even had a chance. I think this is a, this is fine. But they're out here saying that they did this to protect fragile fanboys from Inside the Magic. What is this Inside the Magic? Sometimes their site is pretty good. And then half the time it's good, and then half the time they throw out bullshit like this, which is awful. So this apparently, and I, and I don't believe, I, I don't believe, I'd like to see the concept design of what she was supposed to look like first off. I, I don't believe that in today's woke Marvel, they were telling her, they were telling them to tone her way down. If anything, let me tell you what I think. And this is what I think, right? Like, this is my opinion. I could be wrong. I think they were originally probably not going to do this awful design. Thank God somebody did not do this. She just looks like regular Hulk. And that's not the character. She's never looked like this until recently. And they got rid of that. I think they originally were going to go with something a little bit bigger, maybe. Not this. Uh, I'm trying to find like a good version. Maybe something like this. They were going to do maybe this, which actually would have been fine. I, I would have been fine with this. There's various looking muscular versions. Uh, maybe something like this. And then I think they toned it down to something a little bit more like this which kind of looks about the same as this. And honestly, this is, let's be honest, a much better way to go. But even here, look, she still looks pretty jacked. So I don't know what the problem is. She still looks jacked. The CGI is just shit. Get rid of this awful CGI. Like, put some more money into the CGI and improve it. Uh, you could even fix that. Make her arms look like this then. No one's going to care if she has some jacked arms. So I, I, I just don't see, nobody was ever complaining about that. But I like that this guy picks this one out-of-place picture, like, yeah, this is what she always looked like. No, no, uh, I was, was about to swear pretty hard there. Uh, no, dude, she never looked like that. She did look like that one time, like, depending on who draws her, right? And as I've pointed out here, she's looked different depending on the artist. Like, look at this, you know. Here's a, here's a nice little collage of some of the different looks it's like no one would have cared i just find it funny like there's always got to be something to rile people up and mess with people like no one cares in fact i think the design is fine it's the cgi that i have a problem with i think the cgi is awful anyway that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.